After a horrible season at Oakwell, it is finally confirmed Barnsley are relegated to League One. Here is how it happened. Just one short year ago, Barnsley were securing themselves an unlikely playoff spot after a brilliant season with Valerian Ishmael. What a fall it's been since, with relegation now confirmed. We should probably start by addressing that playoff finish last season. Barnsley were the underdog darlings of the championship last time out. Their insane high-energy press in football took a club that had not been anywhere near the top of the second tier for about two decades to within three games of the Premier League. We've spoken many times on the channel about how a gradual rise is often actually far more sustainable than quickly jumping up the ladder like Barnsley did. A very quick jump offers very, very little time to adjust or to secure key assets and stop them being taken away by other clubs. To say the Barnsley team that finished in the playoffs was broken up quickly is an understatement. The, the club and the management were also broken up as well. Dane Murphy went to Nottingham Forest, Valerie and Ishmael, Alex Moat both off to West Brom, plus Daryl DK's loan ended. To reiterate, that's the CEO, manager, captain and star striker all there for the last game of one season and gone for the first game of the next season. We'll talk about who Barnsley brought in to replace all of those faces that went out the door in just a second. But first, please hit the like button and support the video and the channel. Khaled El Hamad arrived as CEO and Marcus Shop arrived as manager. And for Shop, it was just a case of blink and you'll miss him. Shop lasted just 15 league games and was gone by the 1st of November. He did pack a lot in in a short time, including a run of 13 games without a win and seven defeats in a row. Uh, wrong guy, wrong place, wrong time maybe for Shop. But clubs that have three managers in quick succession, like Barnsley were going to have to do, often struggle to mitigate that chaos and that upheaval. Replacing Shop was a very Barnsley on-brand hire. Poya Aspargi came in. Aspargi, a 36-year-old former Sweden under-21 coach, following the likes of Moraes, Stendil, Struber, Ishmael and latterly Shop. New manager bounce? Nope. Aspargi didn't win any of his first 11 games, meaning Barnsley reached the 8th of February with only two wins and 14 points from their first 29 games. That took them below 0.5 points per game, and they were projecting at that point to be the lowest scoring championship team ever. Barnsley did finally put some results together. Maybe Aspargi started to settle, and I think he was helped by the January arrivals on loan of Bassi and Quina. The run was 14 points in eight games, and amazingly... This all coupled with Peterborough's inability to ever score any points away from home, plus points deductions at Derby and Reading, all meant that, having looked like they were going to be one of the worst teams in Championship history, Barnsley were actually in with a chance of survival going into that last international break. The sole focus after that international break was for Barnsley to try and catch Reading in 21st, and... First game back was a head-to-head -head between the two teams. Barnsley took the lead early. They led for 77 minutes before succumbing to an equaliser, which, looking back now, is kind of the turning point that really knocked the wind out of Barnsley's sails. Reading went on to have a bit of a surge themselves after just keeping Barnsley at arm's length during that game and, frankly, left the bottom three high and dry and distant. So Barnsley dropped down to League One just one season after finishing in the playoffs. Get involved in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on the Tykes' fall from grace. We normally say on the channel, these things relegate teams. Owners, size, chaos or bad luck. How many, because it might be more than one of those factors, do you agree would have been present in Barnsley's descent this season? 
Commiserations then to Barnsley fans. Best of luck in League One. They've been there before and they probably know better than most how to get out. In the meantime, why not check out my season review of Barnsley from last season right here. Feels a long time ago and a very, very different story to this season's video.